See, we're packing for New York. If you watched my last video, you know my biggest L 2021, but following the advice of you guys, this is why I love you guys so much. You comment, help me out, tell me stories. Someone said, just keep refreshing at a certain time. People were saying, just try and book. People cancel the time. Two days before we leave, you'll see what I got. I ended up going to Etobicoke and I thought I was doing like perfectly fine and well, but then when I got to the end, the instructor was like, he's doing like a long spiel. He was like, today the ministry standards have, and I was like, obviously he's gonna say not been met because if I passed, I thought he, the first time I ever passed, the, the girl was just like, congratulations, immediately. I was like, bro, I failed. Like, I don't know how I failed, but I failed. And he was like, have been met instead of not met. So I was like, oh my God, let's go. Yeah, so huge thank you to everyone who tried to help me out with that. It means a lot. Even if you're just watching my videos, it means a lot. So big thank you to you. Can't wait to make these New York videos. So packed up and we'll go tomorrow morning. Fresh cut for NYC. Fortunate thing is my dad and my brothers are actually coming back as I leave. So Levi and Kyle will reclaim this place for a bit. I won't get to see them for a bit, so that sucks, but what else was I gonna say? I don't think I was gonna say anything. I think I just wanted to show you got a cut. We are just waiting to board now, tired as hell. One of the reasons I like New York better than LA probably is it's only an hour and a half from Toronto. Thank you. Oh hi, Miss to America. One of my favorites. Check out the accessory. Boyfriend duties. So it kind of goes with the fit. First time you've done that, I'm like, I don't want to fall right now. Ugh. Nothing better than after flight, long car ride, oh, getting to the hotel. We gotta take Mochi to the little dog park. And then we're actually going to a place called Sedell's, which has, I think, the second best bagels I've ever had. Last time I was there, actually, there was a guy who was cutting this smoked salmon so thin. And Kai was like, how are you cutting it so thin? And he's like, I'm actually a competitor for the world's thinnest salmon slice. They have like a competition every year here or something. I'm packing time. Yes. Is this yours? What is that? I'm going to zoom it tomorrow. <laughs> Wait, what? Where are we going? Your favorite place. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't cry. I don't feel me crying. It's so nice. You're welcome. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why this gives it away where Sid knew where we we're going is because they you need to wear a suit. And I'll let Sid explain when she clears up a bit <laughs> where we're going. But it's her favorite restaurant in the entire world. I guess that's the title of this video, surprising my girlfriend with her favorite restaurant in the world. But I was like, yeah, I guess I gotta tell her now because I gotta unpack the suit. Last time I wore a suit was in high school days, believe it or not, and I've grown so much since then. So I didn't have a suit that fit me, so I had to wear one of Kai's suits. It's a little bit tight on me. But yeah, this meal is definitely gonna be crazy. I'm gonna bring you guys along for the whole experience. Definitely one of the best restaurants I've ever been to for sure as well. My dad is actually good friends with the chef. We're going to Jean Georges, which is his restaurant. I think it's in the Trump Hotel. I've actually surprised Sid once here before. My dad's good friends with Jean George for many years, so he was able to get us in. So big thank you to Jean George. We're also going to his other restaurant. He's a bunch of restaurants. We're going to another one of his restaurants tonight, ABC Kitchen. Which, if you're in New York, I highly recommend. Amazing food. And then if you want to do something even more crazy, go to his other place, Jean George, which I think is two Michelin stars. So if you saw my video with my dad before, we talked about what a Michelin star is. Watch that if you don't know what it is. Pretty much signifies the levels. Getting one Michelin star is hard enough so you can imagine two and then it goes up to three I think it had three at one point if I'm not wrong too you want to explain you the history of why it's your favorite restaurant wait can I wash my face first <laughs> I mean, I this bunny thing. it doesn't look like a bunny it looks like a dick <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's tomorrow that's the theme of the vlog I'm gonna get dressed now and head out to brunch so this is what I packed quickly my prestos my spirit ons my Chicago's I took a break from these for a while because I wore them way too much they're beat as hell all these are kind of beat as hell all my shorts sporty and rich hidden and a bunch of Nike ones I think this is actually Kai's shirt and I think I stole it somehow but I think this is an insanely old chrome hearts shirt uh, this is a talentless long sleeve this is a mute shirt bunch of vintage tees union Stussy and my sweaters is this thin red line vintage one this is a mute sweater Olivia Kim Nike, my Jean George suit. Go through my pants another time. Funny steps from the hotel already, and we see someone. Well, I see someone. I, I'm the one who always recognizes people. Sid's like, I swear that's MGK. And I'll be like, just the guy with dyed blonde hair. I'm like, that's not him. But we saw Dave Chappelle, low key fanboying. But can I give you a compliment real quick? What? 
you're very well versed in your pop culture, celebrity, comedian, politician, etc. knowledge. Yeah. So you're very good at picking out people and knowing who they are. So we're here. We make the bagels. Homemade right here. I got a lotka salmon row thing. I don't know. Nah, of course I got a bagel. I gotta put you on roast for a second. Sid thinks Tim Horton's bagel is the best. And I'm like, I literally don't understand how. Try the bagel and still tell me that Tim Horton's is better. Don't say it's better. Tim Horton's is still better. So explain the logic of Tim Horton's being better than homemade fresh bagels right at your nose. Okay. I think some people can agree with me that some things you just like the cheaper, junkier standard. And I like that Tim Hortons bagel is really dense and like really thick bread. I really like the cream cheese that they use. When they make it good, it's really good. I pretty much only had a bagel, so we're gonna get a piece of pizza. Famous Ben's, if you know, you know from Kai's video, we always go here. So I don't need to say much about it, but I'll show you the pizza when I get it. Palermo. Fortnite gave it like an 8 point something, so that's like really good, I think. It's an 8-1. I'm giving it an 8-1. It's good enough to be the 8-1. Live with the gods. Fly with the gods. I think Lil Yachty had a collab with him. Can I get a slice of uh, Palermo, please? So I think what's on the Palermo is just like breadcrumbs and tomato sauce. and Oh, and onions, sorry. That's what makes it good. First bite of Palermo in how long was last time we were in New York? Two years ago? Yeah, probably two years. Two years. This is as good as I remember. You see this guy on the corner of Spring and Thompson? Pull up. We're gonna do a lot of shopping later on. We got Arcteric, Stussy across the street. So we were gonna shop today, but we ended up coming back. Sid wasn't feeling too well. She got lightheaded. We were just resting a bit. You never answered why John George is your favorite restaurant. When you come back? When I come back, yes. As soon as I come back, we're leaving. I don't really feel like going anymore. Guys, I troll Sid so many times a day that she just knows I'm always trolling. Funny story is actually, this might have been in a vlog before, but once I, people call me the, the boy who cried troll. I troll so much like about small things, like, oh, I forgot this, just like fuck with people. I actually left my wallet once in a movie theater and we were walking back with Sid. I'm like, yeah, I don't have my wallet. And she's like, just shut up. Like, and just keeps walking. I'm like, yo, I actually don't have my wallet. And she's like, still not believing me. In like 20 seconds, I'm like, yo, I, I swear to God, I'm not trolling. I don't have my wallet. So the moral of the story is, don't troll as much as me. So Sid still hasn't explained why it's her favorite restaurant. You wanna explain? For those of you who have seen Gossip Girl, they always mention this restaurant in Gossip Girl. And in John George's, this like iconic chandelier centerpiece thing. My whole childhood, I watched Gossip Girl like four times and it was ridiculous. When my dad and I came to New York and I booked it and, and it was honestly the most amazing experience. We were both just in shock with how good the service was and how good the food was and it was just perfect. And ever since, it's just been my favorite restaurant because I had such a good time there. And Jet surprised me once before last time we were in New York with a reservation there because Suser is good friends with the chef. All right, we're just getting ready for the restaurant. We have barely ate all day because we want to starve ourselves for this restaurant. Gonna get ready now, we're gonna go. Bam. Painful suit that doesn't really fit me, but we gotta work with what we got. Not the best look, but Sid on the other hand. Oh, Thanks. she's so sad that we're leaving her. I won't have to worry about people seeing my bad suit because they'll be looking at you. Trump Tower. Here we are. So I think we're gonna do this 10 course meal. So it's kind of hard to vlog here because it's so quiet. There's no music really or anything. And it's just like silence, but I'm gonna do my best. Okay. This is the famous chandelier. Timeless. I find often in these like really fine dining restaurants, they never play any music. And I guess it's because just to like emphasize on the food, it just kind of sets the tone that it's more serious. To your left on the plate, you find tamaki bowls rice, toasted sesame and rhubarb, finished with shiso and sea salt. To its right, sweet pea soup and black pepper olive oil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Suggest a gentle stir with the straw and to enjoy from the bottom of the glass. Look at the I like it. This is our uh, Madai sashimi. This is our yellowfin tuna. So she just told me that dish has been on their menu since 97. She's like, do you remember? Because I told her I was here before and I was like, uh, I was 16 so I don't remember. And I didn't eat raw fish back then. <laughs> so I also don't remember. I probably didn't eat it. Lots of truffle. My favorite. 
So one of the things that's amazing here is the service. And when you go like to the washroom, they immediately come, fix your napkin, fix everything for you. Sid's gonna go and we're gonna set a timer and show you how good it is. Oh my god, I'm full. Barely ate all day and I'm still stuffed to the brim. Suit off. Oh, how the vlog started is how it's ended. So before I get into the outro, I just want to give a review of the dinner. Big thank you to uh, Jean George. When we got there, actually, he said hi to us. Sid and I a bit starstruck. One of the best chefs in the world. Good friend of my dad. And yeah, the dinner was honestly amazing. My favorite thing was that sweet corn with truffle. I love my truffle. I want to thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed, hit subscribe. Let's try and hit, I never asked for likes. Let's try to hit 5,000 likes. Cause I think I usually get around two, two something. Like, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna post two videos this week, I think. Next one will probably be sort of a fashion shopping one in New York. Oh, and I'll have a big announcement in my next video at the start of it probably, so. Stay tuned. Shawty made that ass clap, she don't need no applause. High fashion, like Goyard, G-Wagon. Or the rover, I put some ice on you cause you got a cold heart. I know I gotta keep my shorty on go, go, go. Yeah. Drop that ass.